Hey guys, today we are going to watch a commercial for a new product called Secret Lair. It's not a booster, but a lair. A hashtag MTG Secret Lair. So things have got very desperate ever since uh, Chandra became, became into men. People have been very angry at Wizard of the Coast because they wanted her to be into Nyssa. And after Tularean Community College made that video uh, about the new MTG Forsaken books, it was night night. So we have had to make a emergency announcement about a future announcement about a future product. It's been a while since we've been this desperate, but thanks to Tolarian Community College, we have hit the red button and we are in total desperation mode. I mean, what company could be so desperate they would make an announcement for announcement? Wizard of the Coast. All right, so what is a lair? A lair is a pre-made box just for you and the very particular things you love about magic. So what, what's in this? Like, wouldn't I be different? Wouldn't what I want, what I want in a booster pack be different from what you would want and what your friend would want? Unless the lair has dual lands, which we can all agree need to be reprinted, I doubt that this is a pre-made box just for me. So this is a lie. They're already lying to us. And let me just go tell you about the mystery pack. I think that's a terrible product. A thousand plus cards being reprinted. This was like a great idea. No, it's not. It's Chronicles 3.0. It's almost as bad. Well, it depends on the print run. It could be as bad as Chronicles. It could be worse, but we'll see. The collector's case. I know Alpha Investment really loves collector's case, but if you want to see the true value of the collector's case, Look at the price of Oko and look at the price of the collector's editions, the extended art, the foils of Oko, and look at the price of Once Upon a Time. Because they're banned from standard, meaning that they basically are in the same place as if they rotated out. My biggest criticism about collector's case is none of those cards, 99, and now the two cards that were playable are banned, 99% of those cards are unplayable in Pioneer. They will be unplayable in modern. They will be unplayable in vintage. Like they're not play. They're not playable. Yes, you have some EDH cards, but that's good. I mean, every standard set has EDH cards that will be valuable in some time. But man, you're going to take. I mean, Oko took a 60, 70 percent beating after Oko got banned. Still playable in every other format, but that's what rotation does. Rotation takes the best cards you had and makes them penniless. It's terrible, and I don't know why we still have to be promoting this collector's case. I mean, it's just not there. If you want to see what happened to a valuable product that is so valuable, it's in every mystery box, in every Target, and Walmart, and Walgreens, Hallmark, I think, has them too. Every one of these mystery boxes has a collector's booster, and their MSRP value is $10, right? $10. But of course, they can go on sale. GameStop is going to get the buy one, get one free sale soon. So you can get two boxes for 50 bucks. So, yeah. This is hype for hype's sake. And you should not be... There's no way that this pack has exactly what I want in it. Because that's going to be different for each person. So this statement is a lie. Secret Lair is going to be even worse than a mystery pack. I guarantee it. Secret Lair will be even worse than the collector's case. I guarantee it. Because too many reprints is not a good thing. It might sound good and you might get excited, but think about all the cards we just reprinted in 2019. It's like all of them. Anyway, hi guys. <laughs> 